He makes dumb jokes while he shoots his gun. Major Slack is lots of fun. Major Slack attack. Hey, wait a minute. There's no guns in this game. Shut up, Pee-wee. Well, yeah, the name is Slack. Thanks for coming back. Let's walk through some more Skyrim Anniversary Edition DLC. What's this? You can go right through the wall. Yeah, okay, and uh, the video or videos, maybe this will be two videos that you're about to see. This is about six hours work. This is going to be a massive makeover. This is not about uh, being, too, being too stupid to figure it out. It's all about organization. That's what takes all, all the time, organizing it so that it goes smoothly. You got all the resources you need. Uh, you you know, you got to do everything in the right order, and I got a big list here to do. Um, this is the final result, what I'm showing you now. Okay, CC Rider's armor rating is now at 664. That's without a shield. So we're way over the armor cap. And I've got all kinds of gear. Um, this is the getup where she's wearing the Lord's Mail, which gives her an extra 75% poison resistance and an extra 70% magic resistance. If that's not required, we could slap on the Mercenary's armor, which will um, give us conjuration spells cost 20% less to cast which is primarily to create more charges for Umbra and um, increases her health by 70 points so we don't need magic resistance if we if we don't need magic resistance or uh, poison resistance then we're gonna slap that on and she's got a nice new look in that the armor rating is 652 once again well over the cap the cap is 567 and um, I've got uh, I would have loved to name this all gladiator but it didn't group well alphabetically with Lord's Mail so I had to name them all mercenaries I got the mercenaries necklace bows do 45% more damage and increases magic resistance 22% mercenaries ring same thing so now our crossbow is doing a respectable 254 damage and uh, even the Umbra, we can use this to do perpetual power attacks, and it's going to have a lot more charges because of the fortified conjuration um, enchantments. So it's not going to be running out as much. And uh, we could use this to level up two handed if need be. And Atar going to make over two. His he is now wearing. I just want to. I'm going to show you the. Um, We've stopped. What is it? What do you need to take? Okay, so he's wearing my old dragon armor. This is what CC brought. He was wearing that before, but I gave him the helmet because, you know, I figured, you know, this is not going to be required really. So if he can, I, I doubt he's going to put this to good use either, but at least he has like the armor rating of that. And um, we did the unholy visual quest. Don't worry, we're going to do all this right now. I'm just showing the final result. I'm not like skipping over a lot of stuff. Given the Vigil Veteran Boots and the Vigil Veteran Gauntlets both improved the Legendary. I think what I'm going to do also is put uh, Resist Frost and Resist Fire on the Boots. And Gauntlets, uh, it's no point in putting Fortify two-handed because when you Fortify, Fortify, um, whatever, like Fortify two-handed, Fortify one-handed, Fortify destruction, anything like that doesn't work on Follower's Gear. So there's no point in putting that on it. Um... Oh yeah, that's what I want to do. I want to make a ring and a necklace with resist magic and then yeah, that's right. And put resist frost and resist fire on the boots. Yep, we got a lot of work to do. Massive makeover. Let's go back to my original save here and let's get busy. Did a few things off camera. I went power shopping because I required uh, the fort. Here we go. So this is pretty much where we left off except for all the power shopping I did. Okay. And I went shopping for, I did this at Solitude. Best place to find enchanted gear at Radiant Raiments in Solitude. And that's with the exception of the leather boots of hauling, which you can only buy at a blacksmith. So this leather boots of strength to get the fortified carry weight enchantment. I got that in White Run at the blacksmith there. It's just shopping around there. And I also bought, I needed the Fortifying Conjuration enchantment, so I bought this at, like I just showed you, Radiant, Radiant Raiments in Solitude, and I bought 
the necklace of minor lock picking as well at Radiant Raiments. And what else did I do? Um, oh, in the meantime, my garden respawned several times. So this is, I mean, look how many ingredients I've got. And I still got a ton of power potions to sell off. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, we need to invent a new word that exceeds excessive <laughs> because this is excessive, but it's way beyond excessive. So it's like double excessive, legendary excessive. I don't know. It's nuts. And it just keeps coming in. Sweet. So henceforth, we're just throwing money at it. If we have a situation or a problem, we're just throwing money at it. And henceforth, no more Nick picking about trying to do things the cheap way because it's just pointless. We have so much money. Let's just live extravagantly henceforth. All right. Um, first thing I want to do, let's get busy. I want to stash temporarily stash the crossbow so that when we're enchanting, it doesn't get in the way. Got a nice little to-do list here. You go there. All right, and put on the junior alchemy suit. This is what we had before. Circle of eminent alchemy gloves of junior alchemy, gold ring of junior alchemy, and the necklace of eminent alchemy. And I also have on board um, enough ingredients to make 24 fortify enchanting potions. Let's make four of these right now. We're gonna make a temporary alchemy suit. Right now we can make enchanting potions 19% at 19% which actually that will make a difference so we might as well make these potions and then we're gonna make a temporary alchemy suit oh yeah and I need a big batch of rings and necklaces so I have on board your mileage may vary but I happen to have throughout my travels I have sub seven silver ingots and I also have a silver necklace and ring so let's go crank out a bunch of necklaces and rings I figured the best thing we could do is make five necklaces and four rings, so let's do that. There we go, it's got a nice big batch of necklaces and rings. I'm gonna be using them all up. Okay, six, ne six necklaces, five silver rings. Next, let me just scroll down here on my laptop so I don't lose my place in my massive to-do list here. Put on the Junior Alchemy Suit, made four enchanting potions, forge five necklaces and rings, make temporary alchemy suit. That's right. Yeah, so we can use fortify enchanting potions on our final business suit. So, um, we're going to use these potions. Quick save before every major crafting session. I also bought um, some apparel to make some business gear. By the way, just for demonstrational purposes, um, all the new gear, the captain's boots and the boatswain boots, like you can actually put the fortify smithing enchantment on them, which is not something you normally would be able to do. Basically, it's treating the boots as if they were armor. See, fortify smithing. But note that you should be able to put the fortify carry weight enchantment on it. Let's just disenchant this. The Fortify Carry Weight enchantment goes on boots, but not the Captain's Boots. Captain's Boots. See? So basically, the game is treating these boots as if they were armor. So all the enchantments that would normally go on armor, that's what that's why they did it. Whether that's a glitch or a feature, who knows? Let's call it a feature. <laughs> And that's the same with the the boatswain boots or the bosun boots, however you want to call it. If you're a sailor, or I'm not a sailor, so I'm just going to keep it real. Where are those boots? They put them in here. Anyways, um, take my word for it. So we're going to take advantage of that, so we can have five pieces of apparel with fortify smithing on it when we get to that point. Um, for now, we're going to enchant the chef's hat some gloves, a ring and a necklace, all with alchemy. And the other enchantment doesn't matter because this, this is just a temporary alchemy suit. It's a throwaway suit. So basically enchant it with whatever is the most valuable. Alright, so here we go. Quick save. 
Let's take a potion. Starting with the chef's hat. Chef's hat. Grand soul gem. Oh yeah, and I bought a ton of soul gems. Fortify alchemy and fortify archery will make the most valuable. Let's just call it temp hat. There we go. Creative potions are 27% stronger. Yeah, I because like I said, you know, if we got a situation, is there anything we need, just throw money at it. So I just went to the College of Winterhold and bought up a ton of filled Grand Soul Gems to complement the 10 Grand Soul Gems that I already had um, from the Mammoth run. Alright, so now we got a ton of Grand Soul Gems. Next, let's... Make the temp gloves. Gloves. Grand Soul Jam. Fortify Alchemy and Fortify Two Handed would make the most valuable enchantment. That's correct. And that is correct. Next. Ring and necklace, both with alchemy and two handed. Let's see if I can do both at once on one potion. Necklace, grand soul gem, alchemy, two handed. There we go. So we got our temp alchemy gear. Oops. A little typo there, but it doesn't matter. We're just throwing it away. Okay, so fortify alchemy times four. With this, we're going to make some more powerful fortify enchanting potions. Okay, previously, as you saw, we were making 19% enchanting potions. Now we're making 25% enchanting potions. Let's make let's make 10. Alright, now we're gonna make our business suit. This is gonna be our final fortify alchemy, fortify smithing, slash running around town suit. Alright? And the gear I decided to choose for the suit will be the Aleaker Hood, the Captain's Boots, the Captain's Clothes, and just any old gloves, doesn't matter. There we go, and that's what she looks like. I think the Aleaker Hood goes really well with the Captain's Clothes. She looks like a well to do, but mercenary type business woman around town anyways choose what you want but that's what you need clothes hat gloves boots ring and necklace all right I'm gonna take a potion for each one and let's get enchanting let's dump this one so I don't accidentally take that dump it into the cell of po cell potions Okay, the Leaker Hood is going to get Fortify Alchemy and Fortify Lock Picking. Leaker Hood, Grand Soul Gem, Fortify Alchemy, and Lock Picking. I just call it the Business Hat. Creative potions are 28% more powerful. That is correct. Lock picking is 20, 45% easier. Check Karuni. Alright. Next. The captain's boots are going to get smithing and stamina. Captain's boots. Grand Soul Gem. Fortify smithing and stamina.
business boots. Weapons and armor can be improved 28% better, increases stamina by 70 points. Let me just get rid of this uh, this ancient Nord helmet here. There you go. All right. Next, the captain's clothes also get smithing and stamina. An army can be approved 20% better, increases stamina by 70 points. That is correct. That is correct. Big save. Next, the gloves get alchemy smithing. Actually, everything else gloves, necklace, and ring get all get alchemy and smithing. Let's so figure do two at once. Gloves, Grand Soul Gem, alchemy. Smithing. Necklace. Grand Soul Gem. Business gloves. Created potions to 28% more powerful, and weapons and armor can be improved 28% better. And business necklace. Created potions to 28% more powerful, weapons and armor can be improved 28% better. That is correct. Direct them into one left. The ring. That is our business suit. There we go. With the business suit on, we should have Fortify Alchemy times four and Fortify Smithing times five. One, two, three, four. Check a Rooney. One, two, three, four, five. Check a Rooney. So now we can improve all our weapons and armor to like double or triple legendary. It's going to be insane. Um, I also wanted to make um, some carry weight gear, so I decided to make also what I'm going to call the athlete's necklace and the athlete's ring. They, they're both going to be enchanted with carry weight and lock picking. <laughs> so we'll have the option to like, like, dramatically increase our carry weight. Okay, so we got uh, we got the potions, we got the soul gems, we got the jewelry. Let's do it to it. Fortify carry away, fortify locking. There you go, athlete's necklace. Put it on, you get a rash around your neck. <laughs> carry capacity increased by forty-two percent. Lock picking is forty-five percent easier. Ring, Grand Soul Gem. Here we wait. Lock picking. Go. At least ring. That is correct. Let's increase our carry weight up to. 459 if I recall correctly. Yep, 459. <laughs> so we can carry a lot of shit around. Pardon my French. Alright, so that's that done. Now, with our new business suit, we are going to make some 
kick-ass smithing potions. Let's put on the business suit. There we go. Double check. Smithing ties five, two, three, four, five. That is good. Smithing potions can be made. We're kind of short on some ingredients, but we have just enough. We have tons of glowing mushroom. What we're short on is blister wort and sprig and sap and or saber cat tooth, but we have just enough. So let's yank out three glowing mushroom. Take out all the blister wood we got, which is one and saber cat tooth. I believe I have two. If you don't have that, you can use uh, sprig and sap. If you don't have that, just simply go to White Run and go to Arcadia's Cauldron in White Run and you know all her ingredients are free because you did that favor for her. She's got three blister word on her counter on various parts of her counter. Grab those, mix them up with glowing mushroom and you got yourself some fortified smithing potions. All right? So with our business suit on, let's crank out these fortified smithing potions. And this should be like 100, 102%, 102%. A done deal so we got some fortified smithing potions and that's another thing I did off camera I bought a whack ton of steel ingots did I do that uh oh I didn't do that oh, we're gonna have to go shopping okay and I figured out to improve everything We going? Not yet. Well, we're going shopping. What do you need to take? To improve all of Atar's gear and all of our gear is going to require... Actually, it's only going to require 10 steel ingots, 3 ebony ingots, and 1 refined malachite, but there's a good chance we're going to be um, improving them twice. Twice legendary. Because we're going to be leveling up smithing as we go along we're going to go up to the next level probably as we're improving so be able to you'll see <laughs> so just like double that up so whatever you need as far as it's like 10 steel ingots three ebony ingots one refined malachite just double it up so 20 steel ingots six ebony ingots and two refined malachite i'll be right there then I could have swore i had this stuff on board i did the shopping already Okay, so I got one ebony ore here. I have lots of refined malachite. And I'm um, six short on the steel ingots. I'm probably going to need more. And I don't have any corundum ore. So I can't make my own steel ingots. Hey, looks like we're going to town. Um, you guys wait here. Actually, this might require some extensive shopping, Still so you might as well come here. along. Lead the way. No one's getting impatient and running off. Okay, everybody coming? Everybody's on board? All right. Let's see what they got for sale in town. Let's start off with White Run. Everybody make it? Out of boy. Okay, come on, baby needs new shoes. Come on, come on, steel ingots. Come on, come on. Let's go. Lucky seven. Come on, here we go. Here we go. Come on now. Here. Ah. I know this once you get like really higher level, she's. She carries steel ingots like less and less, although she's got a ton of ebony ingots. Do we need those? I'm going to buy them anyways. Like I said, holy crap. Um, 
Those are expensive, but it, hey, whatever. Don't forget Doesn't to check matter. Out. I don't claim to be the best blacksmith in White Run. Looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? She's got some corundum ore, and I have four iron ore at home. All right, and look, it's just a small batch of eight potions, and she still can't afford it. I don't know, got all her money back. We may have to run up to. Um... We've got small weapons as well as the finest weapons and armor. Here we go. I'm just buying them all. I'm fed up with hunting around for steel ingots. Whatever they cost. There we go. And you get... Uh, is there any junk we can sell? I think I sold off all my junk. Oh, we don't need this anymore. That can go. Very good. You can't afford any of those. Okay, you get to keep 500 bucks. And we're good. Alright, inventory. Lots of ebony ingots. Lots of steel ingots and some refined malachite that's all we need very good home james Okay, we're just going to make a starter combat gear until we can get um, the... That's what's coming up next video. We want to be able to make the Vigil Armor. And we're just going to plow through that quest like no problem. But for now, let's improve our gear. We already made the potions. I should have grabbed some blister wear while I was in white run from uh, what's her face's shop. Okay, um, no matter. Let's put on the athlete's gear so that we can carry all of Atar's stuff. Let's get going. What do you need to take? Everything. And hang on to the bolts for now. Let's go. And let me just dump this iron plate armor somewhere. You, you want some iron plate armor? There you go. Ooh, whoa, thank you. There you're welcome. Okay. Be careful. Okay, well, just we've stopped. Stand still. Go on ahead. I'll okay. stand guard. Stay. Stay. Attaboy. All right, business suit on. Good, I can still carry all his gear. Um, over here by the improving station, quick save. I'm gonna take a smithing potion and improve all the armor. Let's do it. See that? Double legendary. We cross the lines and now we can make others double legendary. There you go, there's everything. <laughs> okay. Now our new temporary getup is going to be that's going to a tar. We're gonna wear this, this. 
That's eventually going to a tarp. We're going to wear this for now. Actually, no, I'm going to wear the Lord's Mail. And... I'm going to wear this for now. See, our armor rating is still 660. Okay, where's the tarp? We going? Got some new what do you need to take? shiny new gear for you. You get the Imperial stuff. You get the Imperial Dragon Armor. Gives you some nice fire resistance, shock resistance, and frost resistance. And you get this. It's doubtful you're actually going to cast the Ebony Flesh spell. But who knows if um, your health gets low. But let's just throw that on you anyways. And you get these boots and these gauntlets. All right. right there then. So let's test your damage or your armor rating. And did you notice the uh, the Skyrim console? They gave it uh, they gave it a makeover too. They gave it a different font, and the um, the font is actually brighter. You can actually read it now. That's pretty cool. And his armor rating, check it out. One below one point below the armor cap 567 is the armor cap with no shield and he's at 566 so he is at maximum armor that is excellent all right so we're at maximum armor um let's improve the weapons same dealio here take a potion Prove all the weapons to double or triple legendary. And that's another thing I did off camera as well. I bought restoration skill training because I knew it was going to level up. So I bought restoration skill training up to, I was at 33, so I bought it to 38. That was done at the College of Winterhold. All right, so that's that. Um, Still standing. Tar, you get your gear back. What do you need to take? Here, you get this back, and you get that. And we're going to retire this. We're going to keep the Umbra. And oh shit, I forgot to. I'll be right there then. Okay, I got a spare potion. Forgot to improve the crossbow. Okay, we got an extra potion. Very good. Last fortified smithing potion. Jeez, oh, some of these are going like triple legendary. Okay, now. This we're probably going to retire. This needs recharging and a TARS. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Okay. Ain't got nope. one, but I'd fancy a chance at that Jari Ra's scrawny neck. Okay, calm down there. <laughs> out of trouble now. The castle dowered. What do you need to take? Uh. This we're gonna recharge, and this we're gonna recharge. That'll do it. And this will take a grand. Be right there then. We going? What do you need to take? Excellent. And finally, be right there then. For now. We're wearing the Lord's Mail, the gauntlets, the boots, and this. And for now, we're going to make a ring and a necklace with Fortify Archery and Resist Magic. 
but we're going to enchant some more stuff later on once we do the next quest. So, enchanting potion. Necklace. Grand Soul Gem. Archery. Resist magic. Call us this mercenary necklace. Mercenaries necklace. Mercenaries ring. That is so hectic trying to type out stuff in a 30 second time frame. Okay, <coughs> pardon me. Um, Bullets do 45% more damage, increases magic resistance by 22%. That is correct. Bullets do 45% more damage, increases magic resistance by 22%. Great. So now we have reached the magic resistance cap. As long as we're wearing the Lord's Mail and we have the Lord's Stone in effect. So we've reached the armor cap and we've reached the magic resistance cap. But you can add on to that with uh, resist fire, resist frost, and whatnot. I've explained that many times before in other walkers. Um, I'll go through that later on. Um, yeah, 25% plus another 44% that comes to 69% plus the Lord's Mail. That's 79% plus 7 is 86%, and the cap is 85%. So we're one over the cap. So that's it. Maximum damage resistance, maximum armor, and maximum magic resistance. Let's go kick some ass. That's coming up next video. We're going to do... This quest right here. And I'll explain why this is the best thing to do right now. First thing next video. There you go. Part of our massive makeover. Done. We're ready to rock. Thanks for watching. And if you thought this was remotely entertaining and or informative, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And post a comment because I love to hear from my target audience. Alright, see you next time for some more Skyrim Anniversary Edition DLC. Hey guys, real walkthroughs like these are an endangered species here on YouTube. For a complete lowdown on the YouTube video game walkthrough scene, check out my Patreon page and please consider making a donation to yours truly, Major Slack, to help keep real walkthroughs alive on YouTube. You can donate as little as $1. That's $1, that's all. That's all it takes. Alright? Thanks a lot. Really appreciate it.